what value did copywriting have in your life in terms of like, what do you, what do you think copywriting means? Cause it's kind of vague. Yeah. I always say that copywriting is just learning how to get uh, copyright. And, and I, and I don't love saying it this way, but it's the truth. Copywriting is figuring out what motivates people and manipulating them to do what I want them to do. Mm-hmm. And it just so happens that that typically means via the written word, mm-hmm. but more so I just can understand what people care about and to shape whatever I want them to do to fit within those parameters. So I use it oftentimes to sell stuff, but mm-hmm. I used it when I met my wife. I used copywriting <laughs> principles. I used ADA, attention, interest, desire, action, when I met my wife. Uh-huh. When I was doing Tinder, like we're all writing on Tinder and Bumble or whatever the dating apps are now. I use it for that. Uh, if I want you to feel an emotion via a certain type of blog post, I will use copywriting for that. If I want to give a speech, I'm going to use copywriting. So copywriting to me is just getting what's in my brain into your brain and making you feel what I want you to feel or do what I want you to do. That's a fantastic answer. Yeah, I feel like you've got a lot of people into the copywriting course because you tell them about like copywriting. And you're just like, oh, dude, you should you should do this. You should write down these things. Follow Neville. So you've actually got a lot of people in. So I think you're like kind of like a little bit of a copywriting success story in terms of you use the style of copywriting, but to do a newsletter, which is really interesting. Yeah. And then you also sell a ton of stuff. In the how newsletter. many? Um, how much money do you think you've made from me promoting you? Oh, I don't know. Quite a bit. Over or under six figures. Uh, over for sure. Over or under mid six figures. I don't know the breakdown. It's got to be. I, I would think that it'd you be talk close. about so like there's a, like a direct impact of people just sign up just because you said it. Yeah. And then there's like the indirect, like maybe they heard about copywriting and then maybe later they figure out something like so the indirect. I don't know how to measure that. Uh, actually, me, have I sold more for you than Noah? Ooh, I don't know. It'd be me and him. Would be I don't know if, if you're counting App Sumo in terms of that. That's uh, that's a tough one to beat. That's a tough one to beat. But I think it's different. I think you attract a different crowd sometimes, like a more startupy, more startupy crowd. Yeah, yeah. 